In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Gatsby and Google Cloud Firestore. We are going to create a new database and we're going to set up the plugin to consume the data from the database. And we are going to also use GraphQL to render the data in our React component in Gatsby. Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL document-oriented database that is part of the Google Firebase platform. There are some other Firebase products such as Firebase Machine Learning, Cloud Functions, Cloud Functions is a serverless product similar to Amazon Lambda or Azure Functions. And there are some other products to manage authentication, hosting, storage, and there is also a real-time database that is the original Firebase product. If we take a look at the pricing page, we can get started for free using the Spark plan, or we can pay as we go using this Blaze plan. And here at the end, we can find a calculator that will allow us to get an estimate for the monthly costs. So we get one gigabyte for free, but if we increment this value here, let's say five gigabytes, we're gonna to need to pay $20 for that. And for example, for the Cloud Firestore database, that's the one that we are going to use. Let's say that we want to store 200 gigabytes. This is the price that we have to pay for that. And we can do the same for the rest of the services they provide. Okay, now let's move on to the Firebase console and let's create a new project. So I'm going to call it Gatsby Firestore. And I'm going to click here on continue. And I'm going to disable Google Analytics. And I'm going to click on create project. This is going to take a while and it's going to provision the resources. And after this, we are going to create the Cloud Firestore database that we're going to call from our Gatsby application. Okay, the project is ready. So I'm going to click here on continue. And now I'm going to create a new database. So I'm going to click here on database and I'm going to click here on create database. I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on done. This is going to create a database in the US central region or location. And here we have our database ready. So we are going to create a new collection and the name of the collection will be bands. We are going to create a new document to store data of bands. So we're going to have the name of the band. That's going to be a string. Let's say Ramones. We're going to set the genre of the band. In this case will be punk. And we are going to also set the website of the band say www.ramones.com save and we're going to get our first collection with the first document ready and now i'm going to add some other bands here okay and here i created other two bands metallica and foo fighters and now we're going to need to generate a private key to connect our application with the database so we need to go here to project settings and we need to go to service accounts and here we need to click on generate new private key and we need to click on generate key. This is going to download a JSON file here. And this is the file that we're going to need to import in our application to access the Firebase database. Okay, now let's create a new Gatsby project and let's set up the plugin to connect our Gatsby application with the Cloud Firestore database. So first we need to run Gatsby new and the name of the project, let's call it Gatsby Firestore. So this is going to create a new project and it's going to download and install all the packages required to set up the project. Okay, the Gatsby project has been successfully bootstrapped. So let's clean this up. And now let's install the plugin to connect our Gatsby project with the Firestore database. So first let's enter to the folder and now let's install the plugin. So the package that we need to install is Gatsby source Firestore. So npm install dash dash save Gatsby source Firestore. Okay, now that the Gatsby source Firestore package has been installed, let's go to Visual Studio Code and let's set up the plugin. Okay, now let's open the Gatsby config file and let's add a new entry here in this plugins array. So this will be resolve 
and the name of the plugin this is that's the source firestore and then we need to set up the options first we need to set the credentials and here we need to require the file that we downloaded from the firebase console so this is the file so here I need to use that file name. So this is Firebase creds.json. And the other option that I need to add here is types. And here I need to specify the mapping of the Firestore document. So I need to add it here. So this is also an array where I need to specify the type. In our case, the type will be band B collection will be bands, as we can see here. And here we need to add the mapping. So this is a narrow function that maps the document from Firestore to a local structure. So we're going to have the name of the band. This is doc.name. We don't have the genre of the band. This is document.genre. And the website of the band, let's call it site. And this would be doc.website. Name, genre, and website are the three properties that we have in our document in the Firestore database, as we can see here. Now let's run the Gatsby development server. This is Gatsby develop. Okay, and now let's go to the GraphQL endpoint so that we can build the query, the GraphQL query that we need to use in our React component to access the Firestore data. And here, in order to access the properties that we mapped in the plugin setup, we need to go here to all band, edges, node, and here we get access to the properties. For example, we have the name, we have the genre, and we have the site. So if we run this, we should get the list of bands, Ramones, Metallica, and Foo Fighters. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this query and I can use this query in my React component. So let's go back, let's go to the pages, and here I'm going to replace this query that we used in a previous video to access the contentful data. And here we need to change this property here. This is not website, this is site. And also I need to change this. This is all band. And here I'm going to also change this attribute. This will be genre. And this will be genre. Now let's run this and let's see how it works. Okay, and if you go to the website, we should see the genre, the title, and the website of the three bands. Ramones, Metallica, and Fighters. This is the same data that we have in our Firestore database, Ramones, Metallica, and Foo Fighters. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.